Hi guys, and welcome to Class of Rural Comedies, Facts, and Trivia. Thank you for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Uh, it's always good to see you guys. Uh, today's video is on Green Acres, and now Eddie Albert, uh, on Eva Gabor's uh, Green Acres audition, uh, he said no one else had a chance after we saw her. And after playing a married couple for a number of years on Green Acres, Eddie Albert and Eva Gabor had become great friends. Of course, hindsight's 2020, and as an audience, we know that there were no two people better for the Douglas family than those two. But it turns out that Albert had an understanding of just how perfect Gabor was for the role of Lisa Douglas right from the very beginning. In an interview with Green Bay Press Gazette, Albert explained that it was love at first audition for him when he first saw Eva Gabor auditioning for Green Acres. There was just something so ludicrous about her Hungarian accent and these surroundings, said Albert. No one else had a chance after we saw her test. Of course, Eva Gabor and Lisa Douglas share more than a few similarities, a fact that Gabor is more than willing to admit, and one that no doubt helped her understand the character better. I was on a farm once, she said. It was just like this one on the show. Terrible. Didn't like it. I do not have to, uh, to call on tremendous reserves of acting to play the part of a disdainful occupant of this farm. In the script, they made me a city-loving city person, and I'm indeed just like that. Uh, I love everyone on the show and everything about the show, she said. Why? Because I don't have to live on a farm, except during working hours. <laughs> well, while the rural life uh, definitely wasn't for Gabor, she was proud to be among the cast of Green Acres. We have fun, she said. We laugh. It's great. The ups and downs of the show business. Uh, sometimes you work so hard, and then there are those, no jobs. Uh, this series came along so fast, I hadn't time to really catch my breath. I agree. I don't know who else could have played the part. Uh, either one, really. And they had great chemistry. Great, great chemistry. And the whole cast actually did. Uh, I, I loved Ed. My favorite character on the show. Uh, and Sam Drucker. But the reason I liked him so much was because he actually played a Sam Drucker on all three of Henning's uh, shows. This one, Petticoat Junction. And uh, Beverly Hillbillies. Great, great actor, too. Um, that's all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, classic TV facts and trivia, classic rock and country music facts and trivia, faith and entertainment off until Monday. Uh, there will be a weekend when I'm going to do all five and shoot them through the weekend uh, just for, I don't know, bonus week. I don't know. But it won't be this weekend. <laughs> uh, please check out the Andy Griffith Show facts and trivia. I'm pretty pleased. It's on how just a tiny little bit of jealousy between non knots and Andy Griffith. You'll get a kick out of this. Please subscribe if you have not yet. Please like this video. Yes, have a great day. God bless you, and I'm praying for you.